Hello everyone. Today we will discover SQL injections. What are they? How to exploit them and protect yourself against them. SQL injection is a vulnerability that affects the server side of web applications. If you want to know more about the server and client side, I suggest you to see our video on cross-site scripting attacks. First, it is necessary to understand what SQL means. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, a language used by the backend of web applications in order to communicate with databases. These databases are present in all web applications that need to store information like username, password, email, etc. They are organized in a table using columns and rows. A column represents an entry category like username, password, email, and so on. Together, these rows and columns constitute the whole table in SQL. For a server to be able to communicate with a database, it is necessary to use SQL queries, which are lines of code in SQL languages that allow you to retrieve, delete, add, or modify information under certain conditions. Let us take an example of a request retrieving user data for authentication. To retrieve data, the select keyword is used followed by the desired columns. Then the hacker defines the table he wants to search by specifying the name of the table after from. To retrieve the user corresponding to a name and a password, the keyword where is inserted according to different conditions like this. The dollar symbol represents a variable in PHP. The server would then have to retrieve these two variables thanks to a form such as this one and then process them with the following code. However, this is where the problem lies. In this code, the server does not check or sanitize the user input. It is then possible for a hacker to modify the request using a single quote. Used in the username, this character will then transform the request somewhat like this. By deleting the rest of the query using SQL commands, the query then only checks the username entered. The hacker can then use the name he wants or modify the request again in order to avoid the verification of the username. To prevent the various types of SQL injections, Rodenschwarz Cybersecurity has web application firewall technologies with security engines built on 20 years of expertise. These security engines use several strong mechanisms like blacklisting, for example. If the solution detects a pattern that is usually used to exploit an SQL flaw, the query will be immediately blocked and redirected. Then scoring list. Our solution will analyze the query and increment a score as malicious patterns are encountered. At the end of the analysis, if the score is above the authorized limit, the request is blocked and redirected. This method is much more refined and avoids false positives. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more about SQL injections, I invite you to click the link in the description below and read the associated article. You can also watch another video from our OWASP Top 10 series.